Hello, my name is Chris, and today I'd like to talk about how you can use a chloropleth map to make your point. Imagine that you are the program head for outpatient services at MediEast, a fictional regional health provider serving a mid-sized urban center as well as the surrounding rural communities. The director of MediEast has asked all the program heads to identify areas that need to be addressed in the next five-year strategic plan. Recently, you've noticed an influx of patients over the age of 60 booking diagnostic tests, resulting in increased waiting times to secure an appointment. So you decided to make a chloropleth map of the area that MediEast serves to identify where resources should be directed to meet the needs of older patients. At the top of the chloropleth map is the title. In the middle of the map, there is the urban center and around that is the surrounding rural areas in addition to the different types of MediEast facilities, ranging from hospitals to clinics and community health sites located throughout the nine areas. The areas on the chloropleth map are shaded according to the percentage of the population who are 55 and older. The darker shades represent greater concentrations. The opposite is true of the lighter shades. The legend on the left side of the map shows the density of residents age 55 or older ranging from below 10% to over 40%. The source of this data is the 2021 census. Now you're ready to write a three-part description and analysis to inform the five-year strategic plan for MediEast. For example, MediEast prides itself upon providing quality and personalized care to our patients. This unwavering commitment requires us to meet the growing needs of patients who will be 60 or older at the completion of our five-year strategic plan. The executive summary starts with a core value of MediEast and then quickly identifies a group of patients that require an increased level of service in the coming years. Based on the 2021 census data, over 40% of residents in the rural areas north of the city are 55 years and older. The rural area located west of the city, as well as the north side of the city, have a similar makeup, with more than 30% of residents being 55 or over. This group of people, however, makes up less than 10% of the population in the south side of the city and in the rural areas located south of the city. The middle section of your description and analysis identifies the regional patterns present in the chloropleth map, which brings you to your call to action. What steps does MediEast need to take to safeguard their mission of providing personalized medical care over the next five years? An aging population has the potential of placing a tremendous strain upon the MediEast system, especially in our two community health sites located north of the city. Over the next five years, MediEast needs to increase the availability of outpatient services in areas with high concentrations of people age 55 and older. This group of patients is particularly interested in preventive care, where potential health issues can be diagnosed before they lead to more serious conditions. In summary, a chloropleth map is an effective way to identify regional patterns within a data set. Yet, you need to be cautious about what the shaded colors represent. In the above example, the colors indicate the concentration of a particular group of people within an area, but it does not reveal the number of people living in that area. As a result, it's possible that there may be more people age 55 and older living in the south side of the city compared to a rural area in the north. Yet, outpatient services located in the north will most likely see more patients age 55 and above. In other words, if I live north of the city, I would most likely see more people my age in the waiting room of a community health site in a couple years time. Oh how time flies. And talking about time, I would like to thank you for yours. And I look forward to talking about another way to visualize data so that you can make your point.